Hello everyone. Uh, I am Shomu Chattopadhyay. Today I will speak uh, the on the paper on length independent security bounds for the PMAC family. This paper has been co-authored with uh, Vishwajit Chakraborty, Ushin Jha, and Mridul Nandi. So uh, this is the list uh, what we have done in this paper. First of all, we have identified in a uh, flaw in Naito's paper, uh, which he submitted and which was accepted in 2SC in 2019. And uh, he proposed a construction of uh, a variant of PMAC. And uh, we identified a flaw in the proof, security proof of the construction. And we also posed an equivalent problem, uh, which is to be solved in order to uh, solve the claim uh, in the paper. Uh, secondly, uh, we we have uh, shown uh, length independent security bound for simplified PMAC or SPMAC with a weaker notion of security for the hash function. And Thirdly, we have uh, proposed uh, a variant of PMAC1. Uh, we name it as PMAC2 and we show that it achieves a length free security. So, to begin with, uh, let us see uh, the comparison table, the comparative table. Uh, here we, we can see that uh, there is something called PMAC3, there is something called NPMAC. NPMAC is nothing but uh, the uh, uh, variant of PMAC which we have just mentioned. Uh, uh, it is called NPMAC and PMAC3 is the new variant of PMAC which after we pointed out the flaw in the NPMAC, uh, Naito you know, proposed another construction called PMAC3. But if we consider the number of masking keys uh, sorry if we consider the number of masking keys we see that our construction pmac2 in this paper it is an improvement over pmac3 uh, or pmac1 also because it achieves a length free security bound as well as uh, the number of masking keys is minimal uh, here so this this is the table of comparison now uh, th this is the pictorial view of the simplified pmac or spmac here the message blocks are zored with uh, uh, the uh, tau in the tau outputs or so tau outputs are, are just the masking values so mi ith message block is uh, sorted with the ith masking values and it is fed in the uh, block cipher here uh, pi the permutation pi and after uh, uh, we collect all the output outputs of the of these block ciphers we just sort them and the last block is also sorted here and this is just uh, fade into the last block cipher pi prime and we get the tag output so pi and pi prime are random permutations here and uh, tau is the masking function so uh, let us see what what are the popular pmac variants uh, that we get from spmac First of all, the original PMAC is where the gray code based masking is used. Uh, next, uh, PMAC 1, where the power of 2 is used as masking. And in case of N PMAC or the PMAC construction that uh, Naito proposed here, uh, something called 2 powering up masking is used uh, as the mask, uh, masking function. Uh, so precisely mathematically this is the uh, expression of the masking values the tau y is uh, just uh, 2 to the power i times uh, pi of 0 
and this is the masking for pmac one and for n pmac this is the two powering up masking and uh, why we see the reason behind the name this is one power of two and this is another power of two and this uh, two powers are uh, first multiplied with l1 and l2 two fixed values and then they are solved to get the uh, masking value final masking value uh, so uh, let us uh, come to the analysis of NPMAC. Here, the most important claim that Naito has used uh, in the paper is this claim. He claims that uh, this, uh, this system of equations uh, are this uh, or the these two equations are linearly independent uh, given uh, uh, this uh, a, a comma b this set is not equal to c comma d this set what is uh, alpha beta gamma delta alpha is just 2 to the power a beta is 2 to the power b gamma is 2 to the power c and uh, delta is 2 to the power d so if we consider these two equations the these are in deep, linearly independent as naito claims but we show that this claim is wrong why uh, this slide explains it. Uh, the condition of linear dependence it is equivalent to this condition as stated in the green box. But according to Naito, uh, he uh, says that this is uh, the fact stated in the red box. This is the equivalent condition of linear dependence. But this is not true. Uh, okay, for it is true if uh, only uh, C2 is equal to C1. What is C2? Let us just see. This is C1 and this is C2. Okay. So if C2 is equal to C1, this Naito, then Naito's claim is okay. Otherwise, it is wrong. So uh, now we see that uh, from the green box, we get uh, this this uh, equation also so let us just uh, see one more time this green box uh, from here we can uh, arrive uh, from the condition of linear dependence uh, we can arrive at this equation so uh, we show a counter example here for the galois field of uh, order 16 we first uh, define the multiplication by this polynomial and uh, if we take uh, ABCD uh, as these values, uh, we see that this satisfies this equation that, that means uh, uh, these uh, two e e equations generated by ABCD are uh, uh, linearly dependent but if we calculate the C2 value and the C1 value, we see that C2 is not equal to C1. So uh, this, uh, this, is, this does not happen. A equal to B equal to C equal to D. We can see just directly from here that A is not equal to B or B is not equal to C. Okay. So uh, this is a counter example to the claim in the paper in Naito's paper for of NPMAC uh, as we name it NPMAC. So mm, now uh, what is the equivalent problem that we mm, pose here? We pose that to uh, solve the difficulty or uh, what we need to solve in order to fix the error in the proof. We have to bound this uh, ABCD number of ABCD such that this happens. Just recall that alpha is nothing but 2 to the power A, beta is not, nothing but 2 to the power B, gamma is nothing but 2 to the power C, and delta is nothing but 2 to the power D. So uh, we have to bound the number of ABCD such that this happens. And this is the crux problem of the uh, paper. Uh, if we want to show the security uh, by the bound security 
of uh, the construction. This is the crux problem. Uh, this is the equivalent form of the uh, crux problem. Uh, so now let uh, let us come to SPMAC. Here we define a concept of uh, two eyes uh, almost or universal hash function. Uh, how is it defined? Uh, uh, first, we define uh, an event uh, called A. A is just this this event, and then we uh, define another event B. This this row is just used for uh, defining the events, and this is the actual definition of two i z x u. So what it means? It means that probability of A, the probability is uh, considered. Uh, for uh, probability is calculated for the number of keys over the uh, key uh, over k. So probability of A uh, uh, is less than or equal to epsilon and probability of A and B is less than or equal to epsilon square. So A is this, B is this, probability of A is less than or equal to epsilon and probability of A and B, this joint event is less than or equal to epsilon square. Probability is considered over k. So this is uh, if the hash function satisfies this equation, then the hash is called epsilon two wise axu hash. So uh, this is an interesting observation about the uh, security notion we have just defined. Uh, we see that uh, first of all, this is a weaker definition then uh, the four ways uh, independence of hash independent hash function as uh, gazi et uh, al defined in their paper uh, uh, we easily see that uh, any four ways independent hash function is epsilon 2xu where epsilon is 1 over 2 to the power n uh, so the this notion of two ways axu is weaker than four ways independent but next we show that the converse is not true that means that there is some function for example this tau y where uh, three power of twos uh, three powers of two are used and it, this is actually called uh, called three powering up mask and it is used and uh, in pmac2 paper uh, by naito so for this masking function, this is uh, two ways uh, axu, but not four ways independent. So the concept of two ways axu is strictly weaker than four ways independent. So uh, what it means, we'll see later. We uh, we we we'll, in the end we'll show what what it means actually that we we gain. Uh, we just we, there there was previously a result for four wise independence independent has function that SPMAC achieves uh, a length free but the bound security here we show that for two ways x you also that is for a strictly weaker version or weaker notion of uh, than the four wise independent hash function we get the similar bound so this is an improvement uh, uh, over the result uh, so the what is the here is a schema a brief schema of the proof uh, for spmac first of all we define an input collision graph for any two messages m and m prime uh, and after defining the set of vertices the set of vertices is just uh, m comma 1 to m comma lm and uh, together with the M, uh, elements m m prime comma one to m prime comma l m prime and the edge are from uh, a, a, a edge is an edge is formed between m comma a and m prime comma a prime if this happens that if the uh, block cipher input in this position if the block cipher input collides then an edge is formed between these two uh, vertices. So this is the definition of the age and the vertices of the graph. 
and uh, after that we define uh, cross cancelling masking uh, when the induced graph is evenly partitioned it is called uh, the masking for which it happens it calls it is called the cross cancelling masking uh, evenly partitioned bin means uh, the the components if you consider the components the every component uh, has a size even size so then we call that the graph is evenly partitioned okay after that we define a covering collection of edges and it is defined for evenly partitioned graphs and the main lemma that we prove here uh, is um, actually gives a relation between the cross cancelling masking and the covering edges actually they it bounds the cross cancellation probability by the probability of forming covering edges and uh, we show that the finally show that the advantage is this and this is a uh, l free bound if we uh, just uh, look a bit deeper and uh, calculate uh, a bit you see that this is a this is an l free bound uh, security bound okay so uh, now for pmac2 this is the pictorial view of pmac2 uh, first we uh get l l is just a pi output of zero and uh, l is used as a this in the masking or uh, an alpha this alpha value the alpha is just a primitive element uh, of the field alpha is uh, uh multiplied here uh, in these places in the construction and we after getting all these th all these uh, things done we get uh, the tag output uh, t so we see that pmac2 is actually has then prp why because uh, this part can be seen as an as a hash hash part and this is a prp so the aim is fed in the hash part and then the output of hash part is fed uh, in the prp and we get the final tag or the t so pmac2 the problem uh, is uh, becomes simpler because pmac2 here can be dealt with uh, in the has then prp paradigm so the proof idea of pmac2 Mm, if we look at the proof idea first we define a generalization of the cross cancelling pro cancellation probability for more than two messages the generalization is defined as theta prime and uh, for similarly for uh, probability of collision for more than two hash outputs it defined as the call function call of m1 to mq and here we see the most important result here the call value is less than equal to theta prime value plus something uh, where uh, and also the advantage from the hash then prp result we can state that the advantage uh, of the pmac2 is less than equal to call plus something so here the advantage the um, together uh, if we consider these uh, two inequation inequalities together we can see that advantage is dependent only on the theta prime so the main task is to bound the theta prime part okay so um, here uh, okay so finally we get the collision probability is less than equal to q square plus sigma by 2 over n uh, uh, by 2 to the power n plus mu where mu is uh, something which depends on the range of l we see here that mu is q over 2 to the power n by 2 if l is less than equal to 2 to the power n by 4 and mu is sigma to the power 1.5 by 2 to the power n if 
uh, L is greater than 2 to the power n by 4 and less than or equal to 2 to the power n minus 2. And if we simplify this, we see that the main gist uh, of this uh, inequality is that we get a length free bound for L get less than or equal to 2 to the power n by 4. And we also get a uh, um, length free bound for L greater than 2 to the power n by 4 and less than 2 to the power n minus 2 when sigma is less than 2 to the power 2n by 3. So with this extra condition, we uh, uh, maintain, we retain the length freeness of the security bound for more than um, n 2 to the power n by 4 length of messages. So this is the final result for PMAC2. So this is a summary or conclusion of all the results that we have uh, done in the paper. First of all, we have shown that the proof is strong in Naito's paper, but we don't know whether there exists any proof or not. So it's an open problem still now uh, to prove or disprove the security bound as claimed in Naito's paper in TOSC 2019. And secondly, for SPMAC, uh, it had uh, uh, length free but the bound security for four wise independent hash function. But in this paper, we show a similar result for a weaker notion of uh, security for hash function. This is called epsilon 2xu hash function. So this is an improvement in terms of the uh, security bound, uh, the security notion uh, of the hash function. And uh, lastly, we propose a variant of PMAC1. We name it as PMAC2 and we show that it achieves a length free security bound whenever L is less than or equal to 2 to the The L is the length of the uh, higher highest length of the message mm, messages whenever the highest length of the messages is less than or equal to 2 to the power n by 4. So uh, these are all that we have done in the paper uh, and thank we thank everyone for listening and watching the uh, presentation. Thank you very much.